Well guys, good morning. We're down here in Limpopo province. It's our third day. We've been off the water back for the last two days. We finally this morning got a very, very nice bull. The water buck, scientific name is the uh, Corvus ellipsiprimnus. This is a very good example of a, of a water buck bull that we have in front of us here. Your males are the only ones in the species that has got the, the horns and as you see they curl, come backwards a little bit and then they've got the curl forward. When we spotted this bull this morning, I uh, didn't expect him to be so long but when he turned I saw these very big calls coming forward. Mr. Fleck took him down with one shot. Give you guys a little bit of information about the water buck. They are extremely water dependable. So they always pick the thick brush very close to water. They cannot tolerate the dehydration. So they need to drink at least minimum of once a day. Your males on average on the shoulders is about 47 to 52 inches. Your males can weigh anything from 190 to 260 kilograms. Your females are smaller and a lot of times they will be in herds up to 30. They also split up your bulls like the dominant bull over here. He will be on his own. Sometimes you get the bulls in the herds and uh, a lot of times you get the bachelor herds where there will be five or six other bulls in a group. Then you also get a lot of the females that form groups that's on their own uh, with the calves. Gestation period for the females is around about seven to eight months. And they like to give birth at the beginning of the rainy season which is probably in the next 30 to 40 days we will start having our first rain we've seen a few of the females that is that is quite far and heavily pregnant and uh, when you guys come to south africa when you hunt the water buck as well something to look for is a very nice curl like this the older your bulls get you will see the coloration of the horns will actually go from a dark brown or a black they will start turning white like this one and the ridges will be all white as well. There's a few different factors as well. Some of your bulls will be wider than this one. A lot of the bulls won't have the buckle and they will be a lot more straight. But when you have a look at them as well, a lot of times you look for the bulls that is on their own. They've had their life and uh, also the coloration of the horns is also a good feature to look for. Um, one very nice aspect about the water buck that you guys will see as well is they've got this circle around the rump area and the tail as well. It's an extremely round circle and uh, a lot of times your, your bulls will secrete a very strong musk flavor and that they also use when they're marking their territories uh, to rub against the trees and uh, when they urinate as well. There's a certain spot you can spell that extremely strong musk flavor but uh, very nice bull we worked very hard for the last two days we came up this morning and uh, we expected him to be on top of a ridge we saw a lot of tracks coming up here we were up here for about 10 minutes spotted the bull and uh, we finally got him